Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we have a lot of very encouraging signs for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, from things such as LEGOCon and dates to E3 and WB Games confirmed to be having a panel at the event, and the date for it, and as well as some other things I'm going to be diving into in today's video, so I advise you to stick around as there's a lot for us to get into. Just quickly, as usual, if you go on to enjoy today's video and want similar content in the future, a like and a sub would be greatly appreciated as well as turning on notifications to get updated every time I make a video or go live, and it would also help a lot as we push towards 3000 subscribers. So getting into today's video, starting with E3 and Warner Bros or WB Games panel and what it could mean for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. So, a tweet last night was posted last night confirming the dates on what day and what time certain companies would be showing up at E3 and if they were getting a panel or not. I'll throw it on screen for you guys here to see and I'll read out what the tweet had to say. So, the tweet that was posted stated that the ESA has published an E3 2021 schedule and it says for the June 12th there will be Ubisoft and Gearbox. Now Ubisoft maybe has got something to do with the open world Star Wars game but for, that's for another video. On June 13th, this is the important one, it says Microsoft plus Bethesda and then it says Square Enix and then it says Warner Bros or WB for us slash Back for Blood and then under it it says PC Gaming Show. And then on June 14th it says Take Two and Capcom and on June 15th is Nintendo and Bandai full details and it provides a link. So there you have it. On the 13th of June WB Games will have their panel and what's interesting to see is that it says next to it Back for Blood which is another game that they've been working on and apparently it does in fact actually have its release date set for 12th of October 2021. So for me this is a clear sign that if we are going to get something it will most likely be at the Xbox event and at E3 they will be going over their Back for Blood game but who knows. Hopefully we get something for it there, but the listing next to it I feel is very clear and if they were gonna go over LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, it also would have been listed. And let's not forget, as I've said many a times if you're a regular viewer of the channel, Xbox do in fact have the rights to the marketing of the game. So these bits and pools of information that we're getting, I feel gives us enough proof and clarity to switch our focus to Xbox event as the main source of information for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Now next up we have another new event that was announced and I've seen a lot of chat going on about it. Initially I thought again it would be clear that we wouldn't have anything specific and not hear anything about the game but obviously not as at this point all the fans are just desperate for something rather than nothing. So the event in question is in fact LEGOCon which I'm guessing a lot of you have already heard by now. But it was announced with a date and is set to show loads of things around LEGO including sets and future sets and ideas and etc etc. There is no news or info to suggest that we will get any for, for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga nor is there any evidence saying that we won't but it's to me it's quite clear that if we're going to get something it will be the Xbox event. I wouldn't mind if we got something there but just to be clear again I feel that if you want to get hyped for any one of these events the Xbox event is where it's at. But let me know what you guys think about all of these events and do you agree with me in thinking that the Xbox event is now the front runner considering LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. But that's going to do it for me in today's video. If you do enjoy these short style news updates where I don't prolong it and I bring you the news as snappy as possible, please remember to drop the video a like and also subscribe. It only takes two seconds. And if you want to stay tuned with me and the channel and everything else, all of the socials and the Discord server can be found in the description down below. Thank you guys for watching. It means a lot. It's been SpotJ and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.